Hello and welcome back one and all. So we are here today for my next top 10 video which is going to be the top 10 1% drops currently available in the game. Now some of these you may know, some of them hopefully you won't know, but they're all pretty much 1, 2 or 0.5% drops. I do let you know the 0.5 one and there may be at least one other in there. They're all confirmed so this is all 100% definite and we're just going to get into it and hopefully you like some of the stuff in this list. So at number 10 we have got the Skull Pauldrons of Vordred. This is a course from Epic Vordred and dropped by Vordred, if that makes any sense at all. They're not the most glamorous looking things, but for a rare drop that you may want to go farm, you know it's definitely worth giving them a go. So coming in at number 9, we have got the Jack Rabbit Armor, which is a 0.5% drop chance. You get this at Join Sleaster, which is legend only until Friday the 13th event, and it is dropped by the Sleaster Bunny, who you can see here. So if you're a member, you can go get it now. If you're not, you have to wait a little bit till the event comes out. At number 8, we have got the Eviseration Reaper, which is legend only and from Join Necro Dungeon. It's dropped by the fifth head and the first head of the Dracolich, so it's the two basically bottom ones, the nice easy ones to kill, so give that a go. At number 7, we have got the Tentacle Top Hat and Beard from Crown's Reach. FXII dropped by Shub Hathries. Now, this hat is pretty awesome, and it is one I definitely say go and get because I really like it. At number 6, we have got the Light Guardian Spirit Blade. A nice simple looking blade which is legend only from Light Guard Keep and dropped from the Mysterious Spirit. So, I know it's legend only again, but again, if you're into farming stuff, it's worth a go. Coming in at number 5, we have got the Twig Surfboard. This is a course from Bacon Cat and dropped by Kitty Boo Boo. This is just an adventure coin item, I believe. It's definitely not legend, so you can go along and get this and... It's nice looking. You can get a twelly one as well. So, coming in at number four is the Treasure Pile House item. You can get this at Join Winter's Heart, which is the easiest way, and it is dropped by Killer Krampus. You can also get it from a Berserk Leech, but that's from a totally different area, and I would definitely not recommend going there to get it, because it's far easier to get it from where I've shown you. Coming in at number 3 is the Burning Blade of Abazeth. So, of course, this is one of the best Burning Blades around and it looks seriously awesome. It's at the Celestial Arena D and dropped by Aranax. This hasn't topped the list because everyone pretty much knows about this by now, but again, it is an awesome looking sword. At number 2, we have got the Drac of Pet, legend only again, from the final showdown and dropped by Prince Dracoth. It's a really cool looking pet. Not too many people have it, but it is worth the 1% grind and I definitely say go and get it. Coming in at number one is the Blood Scythe of Destruction. Legend only from the Infernal Spire, dropped by Hell Zekal. Now guys, if you would like a video showing you non-member ones, leave a comment down below, and I'll of course do that for you all. As always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all again in the next video incredibly soon. Until then, have a lovely day.